The sun's energy is essential to human existence. It gives us warmth, light, and it's a necessary part of many life-giving processes like photosynthesis. In humans, it is responsible for the production of vitamin D. It can, however, also cause skin damage, erythema, skin aging, dermatological pathologies, and even skin cancer. Therefore, as with all natural life processes, it is important to achieve a correct balance. We need to allow exposure to the sun while at the same time preventing skin damage. And to help achieve this balance, leading international scientists have discovered and studied the incredible photoprotective properties of a tropical fern called Polypodium leucotomus. The story of Polypodium leucotomus originates in the rainforests of Central America. Over thousands of years, it evolved from being an aquatic to a land plant, developing endogenous mechanisms to protect itself from the sun and repair damage. It has been used for centuries by Native Americans for the treatment of inflammatory skin disorders such as psoriasis and eczema. In the early 1990s, Dr. Thomas Fitzpatrick, a leading American dermatologist and his team at the Harvard Medical School, started to study the role of oral and topical polypodium leucotomus in helping protect skin from UV radiation. I need you. At Harvard, at the beginning of the 1990s, together with Dr. Fitzpatrick and his team, we began studying firm blocks activity against reactive oxygen species and found that it had significant antioxidant properties which were very specific against certain reactive species. And that it differed from traditional antioxidants because, as we discovered, its antioxidant properties were fundamentally responsible for the beneficial effect we had observed in terms of skin protection against ultraviolet radiation. Around 1995-96, we published the first studies in healthy human volunteers, which demonstrated that not only did oral consumption of fern block reduce erythema and redness caused by ultraviolet radiation, but it also reduced damage to cellular DNA, which is of course considered to be the first step towards the possible development of skin cancer. We observed that it also preserved the skin's immune system and defenses. For the first time, we demonstrated the possibility of developing systemic photoprotection. And it was the first time that through oral administration alone, skin could be protected against damage caused by ultraviolet radiation. The Harvard team began collaborating with IFC, a leading Spanish pharmaceutical company specializing in dermatology. Together, they developed a cultivation and extraction process to maximize the photoprotective properties of the fern extract, subsequently patented as Fernblock. Fernblock is the basis of HelioCare, a complete range of oral and topical sun protection products. <laughs>